Hey guys, just got a little custom update here. This is my 345BL. Um, I guess you guys heard I was trying to do a vlog machine with this. Yeah, I changed my mind. I didn't really feel like I needed to uh, do uh, the log machine on there because it just would have been a pain in the ass and uh, for a first custom I wanted to keep it simple so basically what I did was I just made a 345 BL excavator cut the cab riser down and did some other basic things so what I will do is I'll take you around it uh, and see what you guys think okay so and it's not done yet by the way there's still a few things left to do it's still taken apart, obviously, because I'm taking the cab off. But basically, what is here is the cab assembly. So, come out. Okay, here we go. Here's the cab. I cut this off, sanded it all down. It's perfect. Glass for the cab, obviously. And what I did here was I stole my 450 DLC. Uh, cab insert and it looks better in there also what I done uh, was I cut a piece off here so the cab will fit in there and sanded that down as well now that fits I also have some fine painting left to do on this like uh, the MH and the W has to go and same on this side, and I have to touch up where I scratched it right there with the saw by accident. Um, also, right here, uh, this is the boom. I'm not going to take this all apart, but I'll go through it. Right here, right now, I have the sil This is the boom mount from the material handler. And I custom sanded in the uh, with the Dremel. I don't know if that'll focus. Oh well. Uh, sanded it all down myself. Sorry guys, I'm trying to fix my camera. Uh, but yeah, it's held in there with a, a copper pin right now. Cause this boom here is a 365 BL boom and stick and bucket and basically I think it's a bit big but that's all I have right now and I don't have the money to waste on more shit to have a three get a 385 uh, CL or DL from uh, the 164th one I don't have the money to do that right now because I'm saving up for something and I will put that on there when I get the chance but right now it's just held in there with a little copper a bit of copper wire, but it's it's strong enough to keep it in there. And the pins holding in the uh, cylinder caps are good. It's all good. I gotta glue this down. I gotta glue the mount down. It's gonna sit on my shelf like this for a few months until I get the money for the 385 to get the boom and stick and bucket from it. But right now, that's basically it. I got a bit more sanding to do. I got to sand down this piece right here so the the car body will fit onto it. And without any without it like it'll sit comfortably on there then. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. It's mounted on the 450 DLC undercarriage and tracks and they look way they look really good on there. It broke, but I fixed it. I'll get this out. I had to drill it all out again and put a screw in there myself. That does not want to focus today. Oh well. Well, yeah, here's the screw I use. It's in there now, it's staying in there. So, it should be fine. Yeah, okay, guys, other than that basically my 345 BL I'll leave the boom off because I got a bit of work to do with that but right now that's basically 345 and the boom so yeah hope you guys like it uh, 
don't make stupid comments about the boom. I know it's a bit big, and I'm getting another one. So don't be idiots. Listen to what I'm saying. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. Talk to you later.